Hey guys, so you all must be familiar with the story of rabbit and tortoise. How rabbit starts the race with full enthusiasm and going very fast and furiously and in the other hand tortoise is going very slowly and steadily. But in my race of NEAT 2019, I was the rabbit. Yes, I started with full enthusiasm and I was reading with full focus from January till the June and in that time I had finished full syllabus prepared with my notes and read from Pulse, Neeraj Radwan and Ames 25 also. But then, then what? Then my whole energy got drained up. I had no motivation left and I was in a very dark pit. You know where I wanted to read but I was not able to read. Because there is some saturation level of our mind, right? That up to certain level we can go. But after that it's all, it gets stagnant. However you try, you are not able to get it inside your head. So that phase was uh, for me after July, August, September and October. Those four months, I was badly struggling. Like I didn't had any revision strategy to be precise and uh, I was really sunking into that situation. I still remember my talks with my friend and I'm saying, I'm talking with her that I don't know Manisha, what should I do? Like I'm reading 8 to 10 hours but it is not actually reading. I'm just uh, sitting with my books. I'm trying to read. I want to read but the thing is it's not going into my head. And then I got frustrated and I took very bad decision of starting with a completely new MCQ book, which I consider was the biggest blunder. So the purpose of this video is to guide you for your upcoming four months, which are very critical and crucial. I know if you are preparing sincerely from the starting of this year, then by the end of this month, or in August somewhere, you will be able to complete your syllabus for the once. But guys, in the first time uh, we read all the subjects, it's just that we get familiar with the subjects. We get to know that, okay, what are the things which can be asked from it and in what form they are being asked, right? But the actual revising, learning, memorizing, that thing will start from now, from your first revision itself. So it is very, very crucial and critical, okay? First thing which I would advise to you is please don't start with any new MCQ book or any new material at this point of time. No, it is not going to help you. Uh, however tempting it is, your other friend is telling you that uh, there were so many MCQs from this book uh, from last, for, uh, last few many years and I'm doing it. It's really nice. No, no. Just say no to it. Stick to whatever material you have read till now. And second thing which I would like to add is that in whatever, see person to person, the reading pattern varies, okay? There is no one particular pattern that follow this, this, this and you will get a rank. Every single person has their own uh, style of reading, their own pattern of reading, their own choices of books, right? Some likes to make notes and some don't. So, uh... So what I'm trying to say is in whatever pattern or method you have read till now, repeat the same, okay? For me it was I used to read first Pulse synopsis, then I used to solve MCQ from Pulse and I also used to categorize them in easy, difficult and very difficult, marking them with different pens and all. So if you have done it, then it will help you right now and if you haven't done it yet that categorizing of mcq then you really should start doing it from your first revision because it will help you at the end okay it's basically works as a filter that whatever difficult and most difficult things are there that you can revise it just before the need okay 
so yes uh read in that particular pattern in which you have read it till now my pattern was that that i used to do uh pulse synopsis then pulse mcqs then vadwal mcqs then mcqs from aims 25 so the same method i was following for my uh revision also so whatever method you have chosen till now just repeat it okay either you can go book wise or you can also do subject wise like first you will complete all the subjects from pulse in your revision then you will complete all the subjects from vadwan then you will complete all the papers of aims 25 or you can do with uh, whatever books you have chosen it or subject wise like first i'm starting with anatomy so i'll complete anatomy revision of all the mcqs their explanation synopsis from pulse vadwan and aims 25 i hope you all are getting me right so there are basically two ways which most of the students uh, prefer either going subject wise or going book wise so it's end of july already right so we have 4 to 5 months in our hand if we consider neat into end of december or in january right so in this time you have to plan 3 to 5 revisions for yourself yes this much revisions are must because to memorize whole stuff our syllabus is already very vast you know right so to memorize things to get things click during the exam during the neat you need this many revisions and how much time you will need for each subject and in what time you will prepare and in what time you can complete your first revision then second revision then third then fourth and then fifth depending upon your speed how many revisions can you do from today till mid of december okay plan your coming four or four and a half months now and then start reading okay don't go just half hazardly that whatever is coming my way i am reading it i am revising it no you have to be very strategic and particular if you want a good rank and the third advice which i would like to give you is uh make a small diary or a note like this was mine okay in which i used to write all the topics which are troubling to me like i have difficulty with facial now right i don't remember the course of facial now so i'll just write facial now into it okay then from the uh conservative part i was very confused between the bevels that in what kind of preparation in amalgam in uh, hold in composite whether bevels are given or not and it, if given then at what degree and everything so i just make it a concise note of all these things into one small book okay one small book you can see the size of this book it is really really small so you have to be that much concise and how this will help you is before the neat okay before just before uh, a week of your final exam what you have to revise is this because this book has all those problematic topics all those problematic things which you are facing difficulty right so you have to plan for everything of the coming 4 or 5 months from now so prepare yourself accordingly and make a timetable for your own self If you face any difficulties if you have still any queries then I am there you can contact me on Instagram and Facebook I will help you out One more thing I would like to add uh, based on my personal experience and based on my all the friends experience uh, like when we were preparing together that this is the phase where your energy drops it drops it's natural because you are uh, reading from a quite a long time and now you have to revise that whole syllabus so it's a quite of a uh, normal thing if your energy decreases if your motivation decreases if you start feeling depressed and all that uh, whether i will be able to do it or not whether you go into the self doubt so all these things are very normal very natural don't pay much attention to all those feelings okay remember your goal what do you want why you started preparing for neat mds so start reminding yourself all those things and whatever negativity you are feeling whatever anxiety you are feeling that is completely normal okay just give yourself some time focus more and divert your energy onto your preparation okay don't give importance to those negative feelings at all let them be at its place okay it's fine if you are feeling anxious if you are feeling worried fine just tell this to yourself 
fine it's okay to be anxious you are preparing for national level examination so it is completely fine but where your focus should be on the coming 4 to 5 months like a warrior you have to prepare everything a complete strategy for the coming 4 to 5 months so all the best to you all and i hope this video will help you in some way in uh, your revision in planning your revising strategy and for your upcoming journey for need mbs so if uh, if you have any queries then please feel free to reach me and uh, thanks for listening see you soon